Every video creator has been there. You record something important, and then you realize that the footage has problems. Maybe it's too noisy and full of grain. Or maybe it's just low resolution. Or maybe you shot it in the wrong frame rate, and now it just looks choppy. Or the audio has background noise, or the colors are just too flat. To solve these problems, we're gonna enlist the help of today's sponsor, AI Artie. They've created an AI video enhancer that's packed with super cool features that can fix all of these issues. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my honest review of it and show you how to use it. If you wanna follow along and try out the software as we go, just click on the link in the description below and that'll bring you to this website here where you can click on free trial and download a free trial. You can also grab some of the test videos that are on their site if you need some video clips to work with. If you just scroll down here on the website, you can see down here, it says download test video. If you wanna download those, just click on that, grab those, and you can work with those to follow along. The first clip I'm gonna grab is this clip of a street light at night that was filmed in low light, and it's got a lot of grain and noise. Now, if you're working in Final Cut Pro and you wanna export some of the video clip to work with, the first thing you need to do is grab your range tool. So you can hit the R key and that will give you your range tool. And then we're just gonna select the entire clip that we want to export. And then to export that, we're gonna head up here to our share options and then we're gonna click on export file. And we can call this anything that we want. So we'll just call this street. And we'll go over to settings. And so then we're just gonna click next. And now it's gonna ask us where we wanna save it. I'm just gonna actually throw this out on my desktop here. So I'll click save. Over here in the video enhancer, we need to open up the video that we just exported. I'm just gonna drag that video into the actual window here. Now the interface gives us two options here. You can either use this slider to show a before and after view of your video, or you can switch over to this dual viewport over here that allows you to see both versions of the clip I prefer the slider view because it allows you to see a more direct comparison at a specific location. So if you just slide this along, you can see that on the left side is the original video and on the right is the enhanced version. And then if you wanna zoom in and out, you can use the scroll wheel that's on your mouse. That's usually the middle scroll wheel. Or you can jump down here to this right here and this allows you to kind of zoom in and out as well. Down here, we have a little timeline where we can play our video or we can scrub through our video like this, or we can actually trim our video down and we can just crop what we want out of here using these little trim handles right here. And another thing we can do is we can set in and out points. So if you just put the cursor anywhere in the timeline, you can set an in point and that's gonna move the trim handle to wherever you set. So then we can set an out point. And then if you do it this way, the only thing that's gonna actually be enhanced and exported is the actual part of the clip here that you have selected. One of the first features that I tried in the video enhancer was video and noise grain removal. Whether you're working with grainy night footage or old recordings, or maybe just recordings that are slightly out of focus, the noise removal tools that are in AI Artie's video enhancer are definitely gonna help improve the quality of your videos. The enhancer gives us the ability to choose between both CPU and GPU processing or just CPU processing. Most of the time, you're gonna to wanna to use a combination of both CPU and GPU as that's gonna yield better and faster results. But if your computer's struggling with that or you don't have a good GPU in your computer, then you can switch it over to CPU and that will work as well. Now you can see here that the AI Arty Video Enhancer gives us three different AI models to choose from. There's the Mo Detail HQ model and that adds sharpness, detail, and clarity. It's great for hair, skin, outdoor plants, and texture enhancement. The Smooth HQ model is great for smooth deblurring, denoising, and for keeping color realism. This is a great model for restoring flawed videos while retaining the texture consistency and color fidelity. And finally, there's the Super Video HQ model. This model is meant to handle the most difficult situations when you need the most enhancement. It's great for improving extremely noisy videos, low light, and dark interior footage. Now you can see by default that the Mo Detail HQ model is chosen, and also the upscale is set to times two. And without changing any other settings, it's already going to perform the calculations needed to add clarity, remove noise, and decrease the blur in the image. It's worthwhile to come over here and experiment with the different models that are available and see which one of them gives you the best results. In this case, I'm gonna leave it on the Mo Detail HQ model and let's take a look and see how well it cleans up the footage. You do have the option over here to click on Turbo and what that's gonna do is it's gonna optimize the export for speed. 
But the trade-off here is that you will lose a little bit in quality if you do this. So I'm going to leave turbo unchecked, but I just wanted you to know that the option is there if you need it. If your system is struggling, you can use this turbo to help optimize it so that it will export quicker. To export the results, we're going to go down here and we're going to click on our export settings. Now down here, we can choose the format, the video codec, the audio codec, and we can also choose the location where we're going to actually save the file. And so now that I've got my export settings here, I can go over here and I can add the task to my queue. All I have to do is click export current, and that's going to actually go through and export my enhanced video. So this is the original video clip right here. And this is the enhanced version. It's such an amazing difference. The overall noise reduction and increase in clarity are so amazing. But noise reduction and image quality improvements are only the beginning. Another outstanding feature is the ability to upscale low resolution video. Now let's take a look at this 1080p video. It's a regular HD video. You can see up here that it's HD 1080p and we want to upscale this up to 4K. So over here, you have a bunch of different upscaling options. You can choose times two, times four. You can upscale it to 2K or 4K directly like this. For me, what I've discovered is that if you're going from a 1080p video up to 4K, I find that it's better to upscale with times two. This helps you achieve the 4K without having to actually do times four or directly using 4K. I've noticed that if you upscale with times two, you often get better results. Before we actually export this, I want you to look at the actual difference with these different models. So this is the Mo Detail HQ model. And you can see that as I kind of zoom across, and actually let me zoom in a little more so you can see the better detail here. You can see as I kind of scroll across that the detail gets significantly better in there. Now you can tell with Mo Detail HQ that we lose a little bit of the color. You can see that it kind of gets a little bit lighter in here, okay? And that's where switching up the different model might be helpful. So if we choose the Smooth HQ model, that's actually very good at maintaining the original color. So you can see that the detail gets added, it kind of smooths everything out, but it's maintaining the original color. So the Smooth HQ model is really good for something like this. And then of course, if we dive over to Super Video HQ over here, it's even better. It's kind of the best of both worlds. It's like a lot of significant detail and you get that image clarity and the color is kind of preserved in there. So like I said, bouncing between the different models is a really good way to kind of get the best results. Now, after we've upscaled the video, I just want to point out that over here, we do have some super useful tools that'll help us edit and crop our video. We can kind of rotate it and do different things with it. And we also over here have the ability to enhance the color of our video and make it pop even more. Now in here, we could actually increase the contrast a little bit like this. I'm just going to slide this over so I can see the outcome better. We could increase the contrast a little like that. Maybe we could actually kind of warm up the tones just a little bit like this. We could add in a little bit of saturation in here to kind of just give the image a little bit more saturation. We could adjust the whites, maybe kind of bring them up just a little bit so like the whites in the eyes and the reflections look a little better. We can bring the blacks down to make them a little crisper, a little clearer, a little darker. We could make all of these different adjustments to make our final enhanced video even more beautiful. A little bit of color enhancement goes a long way. And now we can kind of look at the difference here and how we've actually cleaned up the video and made it look way better like this. And now all we have to do is add our task down here. And now we're going to go down here and we're going to export our current. And as you can see, after we did all of the upscaling and exporting, we now have a 4K video based off of the original HD video that looks even better than the original. One of my favorite features in the Video Enhancer is the ability to do frame interpolation on your videos. This means that you could boost a video's number of frames per second. So for example, if you recorded a video in 24 frames, you could boost it up to 30 or 60 or 120. But it also means that you can actually convert any video recorded in a standard frame rate like 24 or 30, and you can convert that to be buttery smooth slow motion video that's not choppy like it would be if you just changed the frame rate. Let me show you what I mean. Now, I've got this video clip of a woman running, and it was recorded at 25 frames per second. 
What if we wanted to make this a slow motion video clip? Well, one of our options is we could open it up over here in Final Cut Pro, and we could actually just go up to our retime tools here, we can go down to slow, and we could slow it down to 25%. But when we do that, the result is very choppy, and it doesn't look like real slow motion video at all. And this is because when Final Cut Pro adds more frames, it's not accounting for all of the little micro movements that would have happened between each one of those frames. And that's where frame interpolation comes into play. Now, over here in the video enhancer, we're going to check this box that says frame interpolation. Now, we could change the frame rate to a lot of different frame rates here. You can basically add more frames and change the frame rate of the video to any of these that you want. But since we want to actually slow this video down, we're going to check the slow motion box. And that's going to give us two options here. We can either choose half speed or we can choose a quarter speed. Now I'm going to choose a quarter speed and then we'll make sure that we have the Super Video HQ AI model chosen up here and then we're going to go ahead and export this. So we'll add our task down here to the queue and then we'll click on export current. And now we can compare the results with the slow motion video created with frame interpolation versus the slow motion video created in Final Cut Pro with just changing the frame rate. The difference is night and day. I absolutely love this feature in the AI Arty Video Enhancer. With all of these amazing video enhancement features, you'd think they couldn't possibly fit anything else into this software, but you'd be wrong. No video enhancement software is complete without the ability to denoise the audio in your video. And with the AIRD Video Enhancer, removing unwanted noise from your videos is super easy. Now, over here in the Enhancer, I've loaded in a video that has a lot of background noise. So I'm sitting outside, I'm recording this on an iPhone with just the built-in microphone, there's no microphone attached, and there's a lot of ambient noise out here. There's wind, there's birds, there's bugs, there's all sorts of things that are probably getting picked up by the mic right now. Now let's go ahead and enable the audio denoise feature over here, and I'm gonna show you just how awesome it is. Again, you should experiment and see which of these models actually works best for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. In my case for this video, I decided that the voice filter version 3.0 sounded the best to me. And I'm going to set the attenuation limit here up to 35, and I'm going to keep the post filter threshold to 0 0.02. I recommend just playing around with these settings and seeing what works best for you. So again, we're going to add our task over here and you can see down here that we have denoise selected that's all going to be part of the export now and then all we have to do is come down here to export our current clip and then we can end up hearing the results of our denoise process so i'm sitting outside i'm recording this on an iphone with just the built-in microphone there's no microphone attached and there's a lot of ambient noise out here there's wind there's birds there's bugs there's all sorts of things that are probably getting picked up by the mic right now the results are just awesome I'm actually paying for an AI service that I use to clean up the audio in some of the videos on my channel here. And I'm seriously thinking about just dropping that and using the denoise features here in the AIRD Video Enhancer. So overall, I've been really impressed with how AIRD is able to breathe new life into old and low quality footage. The overall image quality improvements, the upscaling features, the frame interpolation, and the denoising features are really well done. And they're most definitely going to help you to be able to resolve issues that you're having with your footage. If you want to give it a try, check out the link in the description below. You can either download a free trial of it, or if you're ready to purchase, there's a couple licensing options for you. Right now, there's an annual option for $79, and there's also a lifetime license purchase for $165. I love that AI already gives you a couple of purchasing options here, but more important to me, I love that if you scroll down on their website, you can see they mention that security is important to them as well. None of the videos that are being processed on your computer are being sent off via the internet to anywhere. So your footage and your videos are all being processed on your local machine. To me, that's a super important feature to have. I just wanted to give a huge thanks to AI Arty for sponsoring this video. And also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you like the video down below. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you continue to get video editing tips all the time. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.